As Russia threatens tougher action against America, if it continues to arm Ukraine, Six U.S. Air Force F-22 Raptor stealth fighters have arrived in Britain for their journey to Poland. This deployment is unprecedented for America's most capable air superiority fighter. The F-22 Raptor stealth has visited Poland before, but only two of them were more missions of goodwill and certainty than deployments. This fifth-generation fighter jet arrived at Lakenheath Base in England and then traveled to Poland. Once deployed, the unit will be referred to as the 90th Expeditionary Fighter Squadron and will support NATO's Air Shield mission. NATO's Air Shield mission identifies air and surface-based missile and air defense units under NATO command and control. The mission will provide shields from the Baltic to the Black Sea. Since then, 120 jets have been placed on high alert. there is a 50% increase of fighter jets patrolling the skies of NATO's East Wing. Reportedly, Poland has also become a place of loss of foreign weapons and other military equipment bound for Ukraine. The country also provides its neighbors with various weapons, such as tanks and howitzers, to fight Russia. Recently, Warsaw has also acquired tanks, howitzers, and aircraft from South Korea. As a result of the entry of arms into Ukraine, the head of Russia's arms control delegation in Vienna, Konstantin Kaprilov, has threatened tougher action against the West. In fact, Poland, whose airspace is now defended by their F-16s and MiG-29s, was assisted by American warplanes, including F-35, as flying from Spangdolm in Germany. The U.S. Air Force said that the F-22s heading to Poland carry the capability to provide lethal power and survivability against any high-class threat. The USAF describes the Raptor as capable of performing air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions, enabling the full realization of 21st century Air Force operational concepts. Reportedly, the arrival of the F-22 to Poland occurred amid the USAF's plans to retire the world's first stealth fighter jet. Both the Congressional and Senate Armed Services Committees rejected it. In fact, they are pushing to upgrade the 33 older models of the F-22 that they plan to get rid of. The F-22 Raptor also faces the problem of low levels of readiness due to high maintenance costs. <laughs>